All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So you got your brand new Pixel 7 Pro in and you want to protect the front screen. Now, this device doesn't come with a screen protector installed, so we're going to put one on here from Whitestone Dome. This is the UV Gen Film. Uh, we're going to pop it on here, man. So this is pretty simple. Pop it open here. You can get the double pack here. So you get it. two of them. So if you make a mistake or you want to you have to replace your phone or something like that, you know how it's going down. Give you a squeegee setup. Give you two of these right here. Let's put that over there. So here is the uh, new little squeegee setup joint here. And you'll need this to put into the bottom of the device. Again, squeegee. And here is their USB joint right here. And it uses Type C. So basically, what they're saying is, Use your own cable that came with your phone. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and put that right there. Because there's no type C cable in the box. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, crack this open here. You get all of this, all of these goodies right here. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the phone off. Put that in there. Go here. Get it all cleaned up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down with theirs, but then I'm gonna go hit it with mine. My also famous microfiber cloth that I like to use. This joint. You can find a link to this in the description. I always get a lot of questions on where I got it from and things like that. So let's go ahead and get this on here and get these this lint off because there might be some lint on here. <laughs> I'm going full throttle because I definitely don't want any dirt. So here is the film here. They're going, they, they upgraded their joint, man. They, they, they're making sure that you uh, don't have to um, have any problems with this. So they, they got it inside of a little packet. I'm going to hit this one more time. Make sure it's nice and clean. It's nothing worse than putting on a screen protector and then there's a piece of lint under there, or just that little piece that got away. And then this is a curved screen, so you really want to make sure uh, that you that you get it all off. All right, so you want to go ahead and peel this portion off first. Read the instructions, trying to protect it. Oh, this is the front. Okay, so here we go. So here we go. All right, get it one more time. Line up the little holes here. All right, come on, buddy, get in there. Get in there. There we go. All right, here we go. Camera's nice and lined up. And this is a point right here where you can actually check for more bubbles and, and check for more dirt. You start to lay it down like this, look for any particles or anything, you'll be able to see them in here. So, you know, there might be some dirt inside of here. So you want to hit it one more time. You can leave this on, on the bottom portion, but you want to make sure you hit it. Get in there the best way you can. Let's, let's go ahead and go in with it. All right. And you can go ahead and lift this side up. All 
And just like that. I think go ahead and take this off. Get all that out of the way. And this top portion right here, um, this before you start doing some serious lifting, just make sure it looks it looks good. So then I can go ahead and rub down on the sides here because this is a curved display. And um, you want to use the UV light to really get it to stick to it afterwards. So let's go ahead and uh, get this top portion off. Make sure you always use this right here to guide it just to be sure that I don't do any kind of lifting of the of the screen protector. And then it is on. So you can hit it with the UV light uh, after the fact just to get those sides curved down. But if you look there, there's a little crease in the center there, but that goes away over time from what I've seen from using these uh, ones from Whitestone Dome at this point. So there you have it, no dirt, no bubbles. And uh, I'll hit this with the UV light afterwards, but I just wanted to show you, boom, there it is on. And some people probably won't even use the UV light because it's sealed up perfectly. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've become a genius. Let me stop, I don't want to toot my horn too much, but I've become pretty good at doing these. So hit it with the UV light afterwards. And uh, let me find a type C cable because I don't want to do you like that. Some of you guys are going to say, Jay, why didn't you do, why didn't you hit it with the UV light? I want to see what it looked like. All right, so let me go ahead and hit it with the UV light. Found, got me a type C cable. Plug it in. There we go. And there it is all installed. No issues whatsoever. Easy install. The UV light joint seals it onto the phone. Now you've got the camera cut out perfectly positions up there. Touch sensitivity obviously is going to be good. I mean, come on, twice don't don't. It's your man Jay. See you in the next one. Take care.